Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here once again in the old Roblox Blues A to Z series in which we're playing as uh, Geros de Honduras. Right now we are doing okay, we are doing eyes to ourselves. While both the north and south are important, we should ultimately make sure we're looking inwards too. So political stability can ensure we meet our goals. Eyes to the north now. South not the only threat to our way of life. To the north stands mighty nations that would use us as pawns for the schemes. We need to decide how to handle them, especially our neighbor Chichen Itza. Looking within, with the threat of the southern hordes that at least staved off, we should consider an area we have not properly given attention to in decades. Our government, Honduras, uh, has existed, existed as a de facto military government for more than a century. And while we claim to have democratic institutions, everyone knows that the military is the one that holds the power. Commandant Luis must not choose whether to democratize the country or to acknowledge the role of the military and governance. Whatever he chooses will be the right choice, no matter what. Military elite. Commit to the people. It's pretty good for a uh, political power to gain. That's actually uh, quite a bit. There's devotion, electronics, people's army, which I kind of prefer. Get more organization and our greed and military supremacy. Which I kind of prefer the people route. Mm. Let me advise the South. Even with a horde defeated. The South remains a significant threat. We need to find a way to properly protect ourselves. So, uh, I'm not sure we'll do that one. Uh, political power, sure, why not? Optimized training, don't have to, but you know what? We might as well find scientists for labs. That'd be nice. And keep working on that there, land doctrine. Which would be decent. And we have three civvies. Not ideal. Definitely need more. And keep doing that. Gliders are nice, finally. Old world day, very cool. Um, here, do that one. Even with our victory over the south, we can't rest on our laurels. The rest of our independence still exists in the north, especially that of the Chichen Itza. We don't know whether they see as a potential ally or a threat to neutralize, but we need to prepare for uh, either event. Watchful eyes save lives. We got more than enough money. Rolling in the money right now. Yeah, we'll close out of this one. We'll come back to it in a little bit. Two. Got plenty of money. So you guys are what? Ruler. The Kolomta. Interesting. And they're decent. They're a pretty large nation. I don't know if we could be able to really take them on too much. Um, we'll see. You never know, really. Exercise, attrition, cult of personality, which makes actually a lot of sense for us. And you guys, we already made them almost 20 combo width. Quite a bit, of, quite a bit of initiative. Oh, we're not gonna use those. I only did that uh, to get trapped plane attacker. Constructed plane attackers are quite good. All right, I'm there. So we should expand, expand more and more quickly. But looking south, <clears throat> uh, yeah. even with the horde broken, the south remains a dangerous nest of raiders and pillagers. The best way we can ensure that they never pose a threat to us again. Uh, and the safety of North America is to claim the land ourselves and integrate them peacefully into society. This, of course, will be a colossal effort. Even worse, pirates have begun to materialize, striking from a location they call the Mosquito Coast. We need to deal with these pirates to ensure our colony succeeds. Uh, an expedition that's sure to be costly both material and manpower. The South is a snake nest. Consequences of the South. Add pirate raids. What kind of sucks? You guys are going to help us patrol all these areas. Because when we probably go to war with the unit, so I don't want to deal with... I mean, defend all this stuff. And we need a new field commander. Green Company Gorillas. Here's a targeting computer. Okay. Interesting. And there you go. The South bleeds. Oh boy. Southern economics. Our territories in the South can't stand on their defense alone. By improving the economy, not only will they be more stable, but we can also reap the economic benefits. Nice. Oh, now that the main horde has been pushed back, we have a little time of breathing room. The raiders have not been beaten forever, and the territory to our south has been claimed to provide a buffer. The stronger these territories are, the more they'll help us. Defense is 25, 20%. Rich strength is at 30%. Our population is at 10%. Shipping guns south. Okay. Veteran soldiers south. Uh, sure. Open up land plots. Southern stimulus payments. Uh, emergency troop withdrawals. Oh. Authorized raids. We decrease. The de oh, okay. This is not bad to do either, then. Ah, well, that's, that's, that's like quite a bit better. Holy cow. I do like we have five research slots, though. Very nice. Very nice. 
Um, so this one, usually I like to do focuses that we have all the things for, like, uh, um, you know, all the requirements to do for, but I just want to go to war. Menaces of the Jungle sounds like so much fun. I like that a lot. Even though they did help us before, too, but still. My path is a war path. Fight for freedom. Coffee allies. New Southern Power sounds like fun. Um, let's go with scrapping for the scrap heap. Uh, let's go with this expert from the south. Southern laborers have, have to experience radically different working conditions from our own in the north. And by combining the expertise of these two groups, we can achieve greater efficiency in both the north and the south. Scrap for the scrap heap. With the economic expansion of the south, we also gain access to a whole variety of new resources. The Great Banana Road. The prosperity of the southern territories brings great prosperity to the homeland in Honduras. As trade blossoms between north and south, bananas and other trade goods become more frequently seen in both markets. The southern bleed. The south bleeds. No one said colonizing the south would be easy. Our first four ways into the south will be the most difficult and may prove very costly manpower and equipment. So we get a lot of daily army XP, but we lose weekly manpower, monthly population, and war support. The defenses of our southern territories will increase as well as population, crucial to the survival of our southern territories if we turn the raiders against each other. That's true too. Oh, changes in the south. Oh god. I don't want to keep doing this one because that doesn't seem good for us, so... It's better. Oh. Southern Stevens payments. Wait. Receive a payment of 100 dry cocoa beans. Economy... 35%. Well, okay. Oh, he dead. Okay. Can't really do anything about that now, can we? Ooh, where's your strength? Still better now. Um, scrap heap, I guess. You know. Just gotta keep watching this. So with that in mind, we'll do the South Bleeds. The Gods Whip. As their territories become more established, those in the South are... See a new option for foreign escape. To become... To come to Honduras. Bites and bites away. To show the state of the southern territories, we should also take a more proactive approach. By sending expeditions against the raiders, we can weaken their forces significantly. That'd be good. Kind of is at 40%, nice. Pirates of the Mosquito Coast. To deal with the pirates in the south, an expedition is being proposed consisting of hundreds of soldiers and plenty of boats. Those pirates can't hide from us forever. I want to wait for this one. Plus four development is pretty good, but uh, we're gonna go this one next. Oh, are we? Oh, we should have been repairing a long time ago. And did it for the party. That's fine. All right. Oh, whatever. Twenty-one percent. Yeah, that's not too bad. No. Um, science, technology. Do that. New gain in the white legs. Very nice. Twenty four percent's decent. Army training, yeah, I'll get way more. Nice. Oh, actually right there. What are we missing besides support equipment? Just support equipment, okay. Strong right flanks. Military engineering. Decent. Uh Sure. Sure. It really helps out. Almost one a day, which is pretty good. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll do bites of bites away, yeah. Why not? Last shell. The god's weapon back into the light, which is pretty good. You get more daily arm XP, weekly manpower, weekly monthly population, stability, war support. With our efforts, we have achieved some measures of stability in the south. While we can never be certain that we truly are safe, people now feel safer and the south requires less of our attention. The rage of the south will begin to lose ground and the growth and threat level will slow down significantly. That seems pretty good. And it makes sense that it doesn't stop, though. So that'll be nice. And we also want to get to increase our political power because that's totally worth it, honestly. Nice.
La Grande Expedition. Yes. The newfound relative safety of our lands, a great expedition into the south has been proposed. This expedition would seek to find any valuable ruins of the pre-war pre -war world. Who knows what might be found? Very true. That sounds pretty decent. Good, good. To the very top. Honestly, start making that. We can always make more guns. Or buy more guns, really. Uh, manpower's not an issue. Usually not. We're gonna go with warrior equipment. Six things left is fine. Authorize more raids. Should be good south. Then soldiers go south. We could optimize trading, I guess, but we don't really have to. I mean, I like to do that, but still. Oh, roughly three political power is pretty good, too, though. Hey, three percent rate of strength. Awesome. Let's go back into the light. So we lose 20 manpower every week, but this will definitely slow things down quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, consequences of the south. I think it's more daily arm XP already. I didn't realize that. So the meat grinder is pretty bad, though. Yeah. Oh, you only lose two week a weekly, then. That's not bad. That's actually way better than I thought it was. 50% is decent. Nice. And do we get two every week? No, we don't. Not yet. Nice. Going to continue shipping them south. That'll be good. And then the wander, or wonder, of the south. We found something truly remarkable in the south. Now we need to figure out what to do with it. The return, huh? Good. The, the fighters, yes. Standing rock. Back into the light. Sure, why not? We'll go with that one next, too. Negative 2%. So now it's 30 days still. All right. Find tools. Manpower, I guess. Why not? So, what does this one say? It really says 40% chance of man month passes uneventfully. While economy and population grow, so will the enemy. 20% chance while we do our best to make the South safe and appealing. Sometimes the economy falters and people flee back to our borders. 20% chance our economy prospers and our population booms. 20% chance. Raiders in the South test their strength against their defenses, potentially damaging our economy and killing our people. Activates mission change in the South. They're 2%. So if it doesn't get too high, that'd be unfortunate. Ah. And we're going to be done with the land doctrine very soon. Yeah, I think this is extremely strong. The Legion doctrine is partially why the Legion is generally pretty strong. It's so good. Uh, La Grande Expedition, though. With the remains of the honorless, uh, warband scattered to the winds, and the safety of Honduras secure for the time being, we are free to focus on new endeavors. Oh. We are free to, uh, according to the old world records that we have preserved in the past centuries, to the south lies a key waterway that once split the land into two. We have authorized an expedition to find this waterway in the land formerly known as Panama, as well as any other places of interest on the way. While preparing, expedition seems simple enough. We need to decide how do we want our soldiers to travel south. Foot? Slow and dangerous, but at least it's cheap. Vehicles will be faster. Using land-based vehicles is far faster than simply walking in a bit safer. Traveling by boat will be safest. Very safe and fast and safe, but we can miss some discoveries. Uh, bit safer. Traveling by boat will be safest. I don't want to miss anything, so we're going to go with these vehicles. Uh, cool. Oh, we begin to undertake a great expedition into the lands of the south, hoping to find technologies, uh, treasures, and perhaps even more. Our expedition progress is currently 0%. Equip the expedition. Absolutely. That seems like a lot of fun. I like these options. Point six every day, still not too bad. <coughs> Strength is at zero, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Can you actually make it negative? Population is at 17%, huh? Not, uh, Las Ilas Mayas. Because we do that. You're 13,000. People are just not going to be here anymore. It's only 20% too. Nice. 
Now we conquered other people and we did that. That'd be good. Ooh. Ah, pirate troubles first. Well, the unrealist in his raid or raider horde scattered to the winds. <clears throat> We're free to focus on other threats to our nation people. One such that we have to deal with has been a group of pirates or raider so co coastal settlements and military bases for captain resources. During one of their most recent raids, we managed to capture a ship and its crew. After extensive interrogation, we managed to learn that they were operating from a port somewhere in the south. An extensive search of the ship led to the discovery of some crew maps and charts, presumably pointing to their base. Comparing the maps to our own, we have approximated the location of their port and have assembled an expedition to locate and eradicate the pirates. Considering the rough conditions we found this crew in, our strategists are confident that we could burn the rats out of their hole. After a quick hunk, we'll be able to give these pirates what they deserve. A short drop followed by a hard stop. Ah, the southern expedition, the cathedral. We found an open war building where some raiders were using as a base of operations. They must have been part of the honorless war band as is when we assaulted the building. They put up next to no resistance. Exploring the building, we discovered that it was the remains of a cathedral. Though all of its religious iconography and churches have been looted long ago. We decided to clean the bodies and rubble out as best we could before resting within the cathedral. Before we left the next day, we held a small sermon at what remained of the altar, asking for protection on our journey and forgiveness for the Great War. We don't know if anyone has heard us, but we left feeling hopeful for the future. May mankind be forgiven for scorching the world of fire. The religious fervor. More, oh, that's a lot more political power and organization and stability. Ooh, I love it. Awesome. fan flippant fantastic, my friends. Oh, my God. Oh, 10 days. Nice. 8% chance the expedition will make a progress towards its final destination. 10% discover something on its journey. 10% our expedition will come under attack and need resupply. Focus on the economy. Um, sure. We got one boat. We need at least five divisions up. Hold all the ports that we currently have. Darn it. Well, there's still two a day, which is pretty darn good, not gonna lie. There you go. 2%, huh? Well, we can wait to do that one. Pandora's box. Nice, nice, nice. We have a crap ton of daily army air XP. Or army XP, yeah, sorry. Army XP. What the heck am I saying anymore? I don't know what I'm saying anymore, you know. I'm going crazy. I'm like a banana the road. Ah, uh, but I gotta do Menace of the Jungle. I wanna go to war. There can be no compromise with the Chichen Itza. Columbus Sebastian II is a deluded maniac. With ambitions of grandeur, it will remain a threat to our nation as long as they exist. Of course. Beautiful. Ooh, six divisions there, too. Beautiful. Hubert said it's fine, as after finding the pirate port after a two-week-long search. Uh, we lost contact with the expedition shortly after they commenced the raid. We heard nothing for another week until a small group of battered soldiers stumbled back into our ports. After treating their wounds, we were able to piece back together what happened at a pirate port. <clears throat> According to the survivors, they launched an attack on the port in the early morning and initially found success and breached the main port, however. As they entered the main dry dock, a massive group of pirates opened fire on them from raised platforms. Before men could react, many were cut down, the rest scrambling for any semblance of cover. After a short gunfire, the pirates fell back, fleeing through a pathway outside the dry dock, with their soldiers giving chase. Emerging onto the shoreline, they claimed to have been seen a working a pre -war warship, which began to fire on them. What remained of our expedition then fled into the jungle, until a small group was all that was left to return home. Where the expedition failed, our shame strategists learned a hard lesson in underestimating your enemy. What a humiliation. Well, that's not good. That sucks. But we're still doing menace to the jungle, because I don't care. Um, if we're being aggressive here... Oh, it's a demand subservience. Oh. Now but a year ago, the Itzen government was embroiled in a fierce power struggle. Whilst we realized that recently the Itzen Empire had renewed interest in us, we never imagined they'd have the audacity to demand our subservience. Surely enough, they believed their freshly purged armed forces were enough a match for a battle-hardened own. Indeed they might be. We had almost certain uh, experience advantage, but the Itzen could throw 40 bodies at us for each soldier and barely break a sweat. It'd be a tough fighter we willing to waste lives in such a war, be safest under the Itzen's protection. We're not relinquished freedom without a fight. Oh boy, hold on. I think we are ready to fight him. We do want to do this one too, so. My path is a war path. The best way to ensure our freedom from Ch Ch it's a is to simply make sure they can't threaten it. Uh, we're going to go to war. I like the military elite, though. 
and we are going to war anyways, we, so that just makes sense. The military must be given the power it needs to secure our country from any threat. While we exist to protect our people, sometimes we don't know how best they can be protected. Ensuring the power of the military and the government will ensure our safety. Well, I guess keep training for now. There's only one ship. Next to the jungle. Military elite. Negative seven percent strength. That's pretty good for us too. Um, science and technology. Finding scientists for the lab. Reno's nuclear mastery. Um, let's go with this one. Nice. And I'll also increase political power if we possibly can too. People's army. Yeah. To ensure our safety and promote the military, service in the military will bestow certain rights and give more political sway. Service for citizenship. And here we go. Slink away, my friends. You don't need all those guys there. I more than guarantee you, you do not. So they don't really enable invade us too much. Because that will be a giant pain that took us. But hey, at least we're at war, having a good time. That's what I really care about. Getting that army XP too is good too. I love it. Nice. Good. Very good. Very good. And the Legion is done too. Nice. Now we need 100 more uh, army XP. Um, give more recon too while we're here. My path is a war path. Kind of have to be at this point. How many divisions I got? Up to 50, 62. Huh? Nice. Well, whatever we can do to circle and destroy the division, that's all that really matters. Uh, two divisions here. There you go, nice. Here. Nice. Hey, we already got rid of it. Oh, man, what happened to my voice there? Got rid of one of the enemy divisions. Uh, I want to do a generic attack. But we ain't quite ready for that. So we're going to just continue to try to plop along with two more divisions there. Oh, they're fighting these guys too. Oh, that'll be very nice. No wonder they're not doing super great against us. Actually, I like that a lot. It's actually very good for us. Being overly aggressive. Which is fantastic. And frag grenades. You know what? It's a jungle in some places here, so let's just do that. As we'll slow a certain circling enemy. Oh god, come on. Contact loss, that's unauthorizable. Should be going south. Seamless payments. Optimize trading. You know, good stuff like that. Send a rescue team, probably too, but we have no political power. But do we need political power for that? No, we don't. Oh, we need more guns, huh? Okay. Trade knowledge? There. So we really are out of guns. That's not good. Oh, no, we have more. Oh, now we have enough guns. The university. Some upon what appears to have been a university. We found it empty, barring a few wandering robots who ignored us, taking care to avoid a radiated center. Or a radiated crater in the center of the complex, we entered what was listed as a medical research wing of the university. Scrounging through the dirty labs and offices, we found some medical germs that would certainly improve our medical procedure back home. Before we left, however, one of our soldiers fell through the floor in an unmarked lab. Heading down, we found a huge stash of modified radix and radaway, as well as the recipe to make more. We weren't fully sure on the safety of these modified drugs, but we marked the building for a revival and took this recipe with us, leaving the university. We wondered what other economic or scientific advancements they were working on on this brink of achieving before the war. Science is not only a tool of destruction. Nice. Beautiful. Already preemptively doing that. Smart. I like it a lot. Honestly, with you guys there, you don't even need that. 
Follow Vault City. Goodbye, Vault City. Beautiful. <clears throat> People's Army. Very good. Ooh, you know what? I could be upset at that. Or we can see it as an opportunity to encircle and destroy. We're only 23%. They lost way more. Holy crap. They must be attacking a lot. There you go. No, I wanted to encircle them. God dang it. Hmm. Oh, they're attacking. We can attack it there too, huh? They're pushing into here, it looks like, too. I really don't want to do just a generic attack, but like. It seems like we might just be able to. Especially if we do this. Can you do that? That'd be pretty nice. Oh, we need that too. Oh, we need, we need a lot more army XP too, you know. Why not? More basic weaponry? I'm sure we could use it. No. Chop shop. We got plenty of money, so I'm not super concerned about it. And dynamite, flamers, dragonets. I never do this, anyways. But if you have enough money, I don't mind doing this. Fine, for now. Louis is greed. Louis who always knew that the office of the Commandant would come with great power, but he knew I did just how much fun this could be. Or just across the border. We know the Chichen Itza is larger, more powerful, but we can even uh, odds by fortifying your borders immensely. Yeah, I guess. Oh, we're gonna run out of guns to spy. At least that'll help out nice. Very good. Oh, awesome. Oh, we got them there too. Great. Still an expedition of the canal. Finally, after a long journey through the ruins of Central America, we reached the land of Panama and found the canal. Expecting a massive waterway, we were shocked to see a rubble-filled channel uh, a, with makeshift bridges spanning its length. <coughs> the sea was crashing against the rubble on both sides, causing water to spray high into the air. As for the bridges, they were manned by raiders and most likely serving as a crossing for the hordes of raiders our people have been fighting all this time. Carefully making our way down to the canal's edge to avoid being spotted, we noticed some locations where the rubble could be blasted by explosives. This would allow the water to flow back in, destroying the raider bridges and cutting out the southern continent from the north. Waiting for nightfall, our troops got to work at sending explosives across the length of our side of the canal. After retreating back to our initial camp, we waited till dawn broke and detonated the, detonated the explosives. The shockwave destroyed many of the bridges while the rubble was blasted apart, letting in the suppressed sea to fill the void. We watched in amazement as water flowed through, sweeping away rubble, raiders, and the last of their bridges. The work isn't done, however. It'll take hundreds, if not thousands, of laborers months to clear out and repair the canal fully, but for now, it stands as a barrier against the south. Look at that. We're safe from the south for now. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're down to 21%, which is not fantastic, but whatever. Good. Uh, we don't need this too much, but you might as well do it anyways. Why not? Oops. Didn't mean to do that one, but whatever. Uh, the return. After many weeks of travel, our expedition returned home, bringing with them knowledge of the South, as well as discoveries that are guaranteed to help our nation. With Panama reaching, reached and the canal made into a barrier against the South, the raider menace uh, that served us for decades has been cut off from its source. The future is now open for our nation to do as we wish, but for the first time in centuries. Andres will suffer no longer to the future of our nation. We will have new focuses, allowing us to fully restore the canal to operational order. Well, that's cool, too. I like that a lot. Ah! Melt in the jungle, guerrilla attacks, stage raids, and minor skirmishes along the border with Chichen Itza will drain their supplies and manpower. Nice. Burn, burn, burn them. Hey, nice. We got more divisions there as well. Awesome. Uh, if you want to about this one, please go ahead. Military requires robotic support. And she can do some help. Well, we're not going down that doctrine, so we have to go that way. And we're going to go with... It makes sense for us to go conventional, because of who we are now. So... Stimulus. Raids. Nice.
not good. Awesome, awesome. Killer, you die. More division. But just division. So. Uh. What do we do like this? You guys stay up here. Like that. You four. Come down here and deal with these guys here. That might be easiest. Oh, we could do the greed, but a uh, coffee I'll ask. Of course, the coffee now is known for chafing against the rules imposed by Chichen Itza often. Perhaps they would agree to a mutually beneficial alliance to throw off the Chichen Itza shackles. Why not? At no time like the present. It's time. Preparations have been made and deals have been brokered. Now all we have to do is provoke the Chichen Itza into a war in the new southern power. With Itza gone, we have not only ensured our security, but our dominance of the area. No longer will we only exist with the tolerance of others. Not bad. Good. We need just a little bit more. I'm sure we can use more guns too. Yeah. Some of that we have more guns. Unfortunate. Using your power is good. Except we receive a response from Costa Caffeinata as a cause for celebration. They have agreed to help us in our fight for freedom. Their army shall join ours in open battle against the Chichen Itza slavers, and together they shall be crushed. For now, our nations are united in action. And with help, we shall be uh, surely victorious. The only thing to do now is wait for a moment to strike. The last united in our fight for freedom. Uh, well, I mean, they're already at war with them, but okay. I just want to be able to get the focus done before they actually capitulate. Wow, oh, we're 27%. That's not bad. I want to get the trade out up here. I want all the Yucatan Peninsula if possible. If possible. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Nice. Just in case. They may prove to be a problem in the future as well. Maybe. New Southern Power. I'd love to do that one. Oh crap, come on. I guess we'll do be greedy next. Just a little bit of greed never hurt us, right? Focus fire is good. Oh, where are we at? Five days left, okay, whatever. It's a little out of time too. There we go, very nice. Did you both get captured, you ding dongs? I don't think they have any airbase, do they? Uh, greed, greed, greed. Ooh, we actually might need that too. Here, fight them. Oh. Good. Those fibers are good as well. Count up range is a little out of time. So this one too. More defense is good too. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, just rack it up, baby. Production boost. Oh. Interesting. Advanced ballistics, huh? Yeah, we got both the agents captured. Come on, guys, do better than that. Nice, even better. Nice. 
guys. Cut these guys off a little bit, which means the rest of this should go to us. Very good. Agreed to Louise, as in a tale as old as human civilization, of course. The savior of the country needs needed has become infatuated with the power his position holds. Luis knows that the people will not be happy, but he's the one who knows what is best for the country he needs a military to ensure that his will is carried out. Honduras. Why not have a bright future, but they'll have a future and that's what they really need. Honduras for the commandant. Commandant. Oh, more political power. Sponsored bards. Cool. There we go. Yes. Might as well. No, there's supremacy. Uh, the military holds dominance over the most of the government, and then power means our safety. Uh, Louis has loved the country through the hardest time since the Great War, and now he'll rip the profits. Cool. New naval development. Our new marines have been tested and found wanting. To properly ensure the destruction of the pirates of the Mosquito Coast, we'll need a second expedition. And now that we know that we're not, they're not slacking, neither will we. Swatting the Mosquitoes. Those pirates sure are tenacious. A second much larger expedition is ready to set off to mop the pirates and get rid of them once and for all. Commander training, nice. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Um, so that's technology, which I kind of forgot about. Nice. And go with that one next. Because we can. High pressure, new naval development, yes. Um, go and get common weaponry. I like it that we can't buy the better guns, but still. Yeah, you might as well do that too. Then what? Better reinforce rate, sure. Getting over there. 50%. Working on it. Uh, you're not allowed there. You have been what we call cut off. You both go there. Start cutting them off too. Working on it still. It's a little bit more of a pain in the butt right now, but whatever. Once we get this portion done, this portion, portion, oh, uh, should be a little better off. We got a lot of peepee -pee now. Oh, we need more guns. Oh, go do that one too. That's fine. Connie's doing pretty well, though. The forces. Incinerators, launchers. Eh, I'll go this one. Way. Why not? Got one done. Special forces could use a little bit of a perk up. Nice. The one in the south. We found something truly remarkable in the south. Now we've got to do, just figure out what we've got to do with it. There to there. Now, see? That's building air base here, too. Ooh, they're attacking us as well. That's not good. Oh, they're forcing the attack as well. Wow. They're all forces the defense then. Oh, we lost a special force division. Dang it. My bad. They attack us, we attack them. It's all pretty normal, you know. Ah, there we go. Good. That yeah, should help us out, definitely. Losses for us. We lost about 1,300, and they're almost done. They're literally almost dead. And we get Ciudad del Carmen, they'll literally be dead. Well, I guess we fight through the jungles, I guess. Maybe you don't choose this one. But different places call for different exposures to places. Nice. Ah, we got him! First, 
Nice. Can I take this one too? Oh, that makes it look so much better. The return. After many weeks of travel, our expedition returned home, bringing with them knowledge of the South, as well as the discoveries that are guaranteed to help our nation. With Panama reaching the canal made into a barrier against the South, the Raider Minister has surrounded us for decades and has been cut off from the source. We should now for our nation to do as we wish, and for the first time in centuries. Cool. I'll restore the canal now. Nice. I have a feeling these guys are, did not like what we just did. So, just in case, we're going to reinforce our borders here. And of course, let time go on too. Four go right here. Nice. And now we need more of you guys here too. Because now we have way more tiles to cover. Dang it. But if they don't want to fight us with the territories, I'm okay with that as well. Nice. Oh, wait, what? They went to a Nuevo Atlan? Well, okay then. Different. So you get the same gun amount, but economic precision is great. If you're worried about this, please go ahead too. Advanced ballistics. Support equipment would be nice. Nice. Very good. Oh, even more nice. The military state. No matter our political leanings, our military will always be at the center of Honduras. We must stay that way to ensure our survival. Our army is fundamental to maintaining a way of life. Very true. Technical difficulties. While the military receives large amounts of funding, as anything last could result under destruction, we need to make sure our civilian advancements is also present. With a little bit more effort, we could revolutionize our electronics. Our expedition progress is currently 90%. Ooh, I hope that it keeps going or something. Incinerator's nice. Very good, very good, very good. Authorized raids. Military state. Technical difficulties. Uh, any attempt to rebuild the Panama Canal will require vast quantities of resources. This will be no easy effort, and like nothing the West has seen before. Oh, oh God. Uh, Swat a mosquito. Those pirates are tenacious. The second much uh, larger expedition is ready to set off to mop these pirates and get rid of them once for all. Yeah, we need more guns. I'll probably leave you at the top right now. Yeah, we still need some lot of special forces to come in, too. Uh, what do we have? Discouraged traders. That's still good. We'll go well equipped army next. Uh, we don't need any of that there, too. To La Lux Stagnation. We're okay with manpower for now as well. Uh, that's fine too. Oh, tanks. Baha Beasts. Sure, we'll go over there too. Go the tactics. Nice. You can get more extraction stuff too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Lots of money, which is nice. Increased political power. Uh, 70%, huh? Come over here. New citizens care package. Invest stimulus. Raise the budget, uh, broadcasting, monthly population. Screw, we got the money for it, why not use it, you know? Three more building slots, okay, why not? Dockyard output, don't really need that as much, though. Cool, so we now have to wait for getting other stuff done. Dang it. Somewhat. What else can we do here? Oh, I forgot to do these ones. They don't need to fear trials. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Over here, and I, I know I ignored all these things. 
So let's not ignore him anymore. Yeah, we're running. Oh, we just have a crap ton of money. And build the sky blue. Love it. You know what? We can buy. Ma oh, this up too, probably. There we go. Just for stuff like this. Just so we can start working on more guns, because as you can tell, we're, we're really out of stuff here. Not ideal. Good. Blue sky above. I think that's all the focuses we can do right now, unfortunately. Um, you know what? We'll keep improving relations for now. Yeah, we just need a, way more guns, which really, really sucks. No girls? And some places have like no resistance too, which is kind of weird. But whatever. Um, but I'll see you when we're focused or done with that focus. And we get through this one, and this one, and how to get rid of pirate raids. Oh god. Uh, Pan of Panama. Even on the top of the population of the South, thousands of workers will need to be sent south to assist in such a titanic project. Revenge done right. Ever since our failed raid on the pirate port, our coast has been constantly sailed by raids. The pirates, no doubt emboldened by the successful defense of the base of operations, have been relentless in their attempts to plunder and pillage, however. After long hours spent going over the old world strategies and theories on naval warfare and the slow development of our own ports and dockyards, we can strike back. Our strategists, having learned from their mistakes, have devised a new method in order to remove this pirate menace, plaguing our people. Scouts have been sent to monitor the port, marking key locations as well as reporting the state of the old world warship located in the harbor. Using this information, a second expedition can be launched, but this time ready and prepared to end this menace once and for all. Finally, we can get the back of those guys, which would be great. Uh, right now, we've just been hanging out, having a good old time. Uh, shipping guns south, buying a lot of guns, trying to quarrel. Actually, as you see, a lot of states here, which is actually really, really good for us. Um, so after this one, I hope we can do this one. Doesn't have National Spirit Pirate Raids. Hopefully something good comes out of this. Consequences of the South is looking very good. My God. Consumer goods, monthly population, resource efficiency gain. Adapt nature to us, of course. Increasing our power. Um, at an autosave, and we'll see the next one, too. The People's Army is very good. Uh, universe Knowledge. Uh, it's in threat. Very nice. War Machine. Bananarama. Religious Fervor. Lights in the South. Losing two weekly manpower. We also received three weekly manpower, so it bounces out. Ah, Pirate Raids. Um, is there anything we can do about that? Get Merchant Spies. Um... Because there's nothing we can do about that. Which I don't see anything here. Propaganda efforts. Bigger focuses. It looks like we're probably going to have to use cons commands to get to the next focus because it might be bugged. Maybe. Mm, free radios are pretty nice. Um, sure, I mean, we still have 2,500 dried cocoa beans. So this kind of sucks that I have to use cons commands to get to this next part. Bruh. Why? Why? Go and grab that too. So, um, then so be it. So we read that one, and we're going to read the next one as well. Is best served cold. A week after the expedition was sent, which I didn't know about. Well, we didn't know about, but I know that we'll actually get something out of this. We received word from them on an unfamiliar radio frequency. Their mission been a success. The soldiers reported that after they arrived at the scout camps on the outskirts of the port, they set to work implementing the plan that our strategists had devised. On the other of the port lay a pre-war munitions dump filled with explosives that the pirates could not use in their raids. Sending a small team of troops sees the dump, disposing the guards and taking their place, allowing them to maintain that element of secrecy. Using the captured explosives, the makeshift naval mines were created, capable of blasting a hole through the hull of the pirate warship. Under the cover of darkness, our troops carried the mine in the water and attached it to the ship before retreating back to our camp. The mine was detonated, causing a massive explosion as the warship's ammunition cooked off, destroying the ship and parts of the port. Our men then rushed to disorganized pirates, killing them all and seizing the port. Victory is ours, Honduras rules the waves. Finally, thank God. Thank God, because I've been here for a while, sitting here, just doing nothing. So we, we, like I said at the end of the last part, before I faded and faded out, um, we read that one, the focus we just selected, and we read this one too, our manpower to Panama. Even on the top of the population of the South, thousands of workers will need to be sent south to assist such a titanic project, but train local uh, laborers. 
The laborers in the south and north, for that matter, have never experienced construction on this scale. We need to train them in new techniques developed largely from scratch. But finally, we have 25 civvies working on stuff. My goodness, that took so long to get. Uh, which is not the fault of the developer at all. Actually, it's, it's totally normal. We've recorded quite a bit here. We've recorded a lot of uh, southern Mexico, which I do actually like a bit. Oh my god, that's so much. 160. Let's do that one next. And we're working on conventional warfare, which I have a good feeling we're not going to get through all the way um, here, too. Nice, nice, nice. Um, what else we got around here? Sure, why not? More anti-tank, why not? Train the local laborers. They need to do that. Oh my god, 17,000. What a sight to have. A sight to see. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Nice. Um, are those? Oh, we have airbase on here too. There you go. We're probably not going to even use them, but whatever. Military factories. We need more resources too. And then clearing the ruins. To ensure the canal can be completed in a reasonable time, we need to clear plenty of ruins. Not just the ruins of the canal, but also ruins in the area along the roads. A significant task. Oh god. And then the path of giants. A truly monumental task, but the Panama Canal has finally been restored, well, to a reasonable and functioning level at least. The canal will allow trade to move across the Americas even easier and will bring us plenty of wealth. Oh, the Shining Canal. Awesome. The economy will increase population, the economy will begin to stabilize and grow more consistently. That's fantastic. And I'll see you when all that is hopefully, hopefully, hopefully done. Panama restored. After the long work of countless laborers and hundreds of foremen, the Panama Canal is finally restored to a working state. A wonder of the old world, incomparable to any found in the rest of the Americas, the rebuilding of the Panama Canal represents a new chapter in Honduras' history and the history of the entirety of post-war America. Let the ships and caps flow. Nice. So that's, I think, that should be it. I mean, as you can see, Nueva Atlan is dead. But I think that should be the entire focus tree, and I think that's pretty much it. So overall, not bad. It was a lot of fun. The beginning part was a little difficult with the Civil War, but I understand why he had it, or he or she, whoever the mod creator had it. You know, I don't disagree with it. It's just a little tedious when at times, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong. I could be wrong. I'm not perfect. I wish I was. Uh, looks like Legion is doing very well, and uh, overall, I would highly recommend uh, the uh, mod reasoning for uh, Ejercito del Honduras. It's a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, I would highly recommend it, which should still be in the first link in the description below. But if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you are new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.